It's day two of the cruise and we're in the gym for a morning workout. This afternoon is the world's sexiest man competition. But before the contest, I need to get on a good sweat, build some confidence on Crown's Edge, and then strengthen some muscle on the rock climbing wall. That should be enough training for the day. The Crown's Edge was amazing. That was so much fun. And now I think we're going to do some rock climbing. We by, mean you. By we, means me. And hey look, Julie and Brian are here as well. It's below you! Put him on the red one. Oh boy. I don't know if I can make it. My you grip, can. My grip's already like. Oh. Five minutes later. All you have to do is ring the bell. <laughs> My fingers hurt. Well, we're just kind of exploring the area. The world's sexiest man competition will be happening around here somewhere. So maybe it'll be in the pool. In the pool? Well, we have an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, look. We can go downstairs this way. Stuff for grown adult husbands to do. Just go down the slide. Oh, oh, oh. Not very smooth. It didn't. It wasn't that comfortable. <laughs> I'll see you at the bottom. Ow! <laughs> Why did it sound like you were crashing the whole way down? <laughs> This is not a good slide. <laughs> slide review. Bad. <laughs> should be a little more enjoyable than the slide. You look comfortable. I'm gonna be right now. Hey, twist me. Ow! Why are you doing it so hard? Sorry, I didn't know that there was a certain way. You're supposed to do it gentle in a circle like a little baby trying to go to sleep. Okay. How's that? No! <laughs> Why are you cranking it? What about now? Much more comfortable? So much more comfortable. Much more comfortable. I've never yeah. been more comfortable in my life. Yeah. This is very comfortable. Yes. It's a better spot. Better than the swing? Yeah. Better than the swing. <laughs> Delicious. Cool. Just go right there, check. Thank you. Thank you. It looks I was like a smile. Let me know how it is. We're at Ryan B having a couple of espresso martinis because I need a little pick me up and some liquid encouragement. I love it. Is this the only spot that has it? Mm, that's so good. Okay, yeah, I love it. it. I'm on the back really of the boat. I live on the back of the boat. Although, although you know. I know. And we'll get you in that competition and maybe you will be crowned the world's sexiest man right here on Icon of the Seas. We've got a few spots left, looking for a few more men. Right, hello over there on the other side of the ship, and of course on deck 16, over there by the lobby, and of course Royal Bay, 
here, right here on deck 15. Ladies and gents, first and foremost, give up for DJ Sharon up there in the bandstand, DJ Sharon. Keeping the vibes going, thank you Sharon. We are here for the World Sexiest Man competition. So get those cameras out, you could make YouTube gold right here. The first round, like I said, the first round is going to be showing off your body. Alright, showing off your body. So they're right here, judge number one, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Brittany and I'm from Utah. Brittany, Brittany from Utah, Brittany from Utah. Now Brittany, uh, what is the number one thing that you look for in a sexy man? What is the sexiest feature, the best asset of a man if you think, yeah, that guy's sexy, this, this is why? Oh, a great ass. <laughs> a, great, a great bottom, a great booty, a great booty. There you go, great booty. Yes, Brittany. All right, here we go. Judge number two, what's your name? Where are you from? Alita Coulter, Washington, D.C. Alita from Washington, D.C. Excellent. Now, Alita, what are you looking for uh, from a sexy man? The number one thing that makes a man sexy for you? A smile in the eyes. A smile, a smile, and the eyes. I asked for one, she gave me two. Brilliant. Uh, let's go, smile and eyes. Smile and eyes. And, uh, last but not least, your name, where are you from? I'm Nadia from LA. Nadia from LA! Excellent, Nadia. And uh, what's the number one thing you look for in a sexy man? I don't. You don't? Okay. I don't, I don't look for a man. Okay, alright, okay, but you can judge a man. What, what do you think if you looked at a man and you thought, oh yeah, he's pretty sexy, he's pretty cool? What would be an attractive feature, do you think, in a man? His wallet. His wallet? His... <laughs> There we are, boys. Your back balance. Your back. I think that's what she means. I think that's what she means. Who knows?
Uh, what do you think so far, Brittany? Uh, who's, who's standing out for you? I think Mike because of his dance moves. Mike, Mike, right here. Mike in the blue hat. Very good, Mike. Okay, uh, and Lisa, who's standing out for you? Have a tie, Mike and Iman. Uh, Mike for the outfit. And Dion for the smile and laugh. There you go. So at least I like Mike for his outfit, for his outfit. Very good. Thank you for prepping. Uh, and of course, Damon for his smiles and eyes. Smiles and eyes. All right. Uh, Nadia. 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 Uh, who's standing out for you? I said Mike for his thongkini. Uh, thongkini. His, his mankini. His mankini. <laughs> it's actually a brokini, and you can purchase yours at brokinis.com. Now, I'm in no way sponsored by them. I just like their products, such as the Dick's E Cup. Red, White & Bro, the Fine Apple, which is what I'm wearing, the Bromingo, the Leopard King, the Blackout, and the GI Bro. Don't forget the Haiku. Bikinis for bros. Show off your package and style. Disappoint parents. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Anyways, let's get back to the contest. Quam, uh, if you were a fruit, if you were any fruit, now keep it clean, okay? We've got kids in the, in, in, in the pool side here, okay? If you were a fruit, what now fruit would you be and why? Let's throw ready. Let's throw ready. A strawberry, a strawberry. Why a strawberry? It's because uh, it's very juicy. <laughs> Fine, that's enough. That's very juicy. Very juicy. Uh, Mike. Mike, very good. You put your shorts back on, Mike. How dare he? Do you want me to take them off? Yes. I don't know if the audience take them, take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. That's it, yes. Take them off. No, you might scar the children. Okay, uh, so here we go. If there's one thing, if there's one thing you could do to make cruising better for the entire world, just one thing you could do to make cruising entire for the better, uh, for, the, for the entire world, what would it be and why? Okay, well, I should have answered somewhere along the lines of making a love boat for the judges, but I was so hyped to be on Icon, I gave a non-sexy answer. Well, the judges liked it. It would be to make all cruising Royal Caribbean. Yes, so we got cruising Royal Caribbean. We did not feed in that line. Good answer, good answer. There we go. What fruit would you be and why? A coconut. A coconut! A coconut! Why would you be a coconut? Stay down on the water. <laughs> Please? No, I didn't catch it either. Eat and water. Oh, food and drink. Food and drink in one. Food and water. And you wanted to make the world a better place. A better place for everyone. What is one thing you would change about the world? The one thing, one thing you would... Do you know what? What fruit would you be and why? <laughs> what fruit? What fruit would you be and why? Uh, the beach. A peach, a peach, a peach. Oh. Why would you be a peach? Because it's a good fruit. Uh, a good fruit uh, from Spain. It's yeah. Okay, we're gonna give you the we're gonna give you the fruit question as well. Okay. A uh, watermelon. A watermelon. A watermelon. Why would you be a watermelon? It's typical fruit in Spain. It's typical fruit in Spain. Okay, very nice. What? What would you do to make the world a better place? One thing. One thing you would do to make the world a better place. Very good. Excellent answer. Very good. We got the answer down. What fruit would you be? What fruit would you be and why? Maybe mango because some mangoes has a lot of... What the f***? Damon, uh, what, what fruit? Let's go for the fresh stick with the fruit. Uh, what, uh, what fruit would you be and why? A banana. <laughs> A banana! A banana! He'd be a banana! Keep it clean! Why would you be... Do we even need to ask? Clean version. They're long, they're strong, they dig all day long. There you go! There you go! I think we got that. I think we got that. Great job. Charles, what fruit would you be and why, Charles? A peach. A peach as well. Why a peach? Because you are what you eat. Because you are what you eat. Very good. Very good. All right.
second uh, place uh, runner-up, and then the first uh, sexiest man champion uh, right here on Icon of the Seas. Uh, ladies and gents, you could change, you could change the judge's opinion right now. It might be very, very close. There might be a tie. Juan's your winner. Make some noise. All right, all right. It's a good start. You're in the lead. You're in the lead so far. All right. Uh, if it's Mike, if Mike's your winner, make some noise. Some noise. What about Edo? <laughs> what about Daniel? Uh, what about Miguel? Uh, what about Tavon? Uh, what about Charles? So, uh, right, we're going to ask the judges. Well, we're still in deliberation. So, who is your favourite? Who is your favourite over here? Um, this one here. This one here with the outfit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, that's Mike, you like Mike. Uh, some people have been filming up here. Who is your favourite? I'll go with Mike. Mike as well, very popular, Mike, very popular. All right, they're still just going. Uh, okay, take your time, but, but hurry up. Who is your favourite right now? Both of the yellow hats. Yellow hats, yeah, okay, like the yellow hats there. I'm not asking. Well. By the way, give it up for the judges, ladies and gents. Very typical, very typical. In third place, ladies and gentlemen, Give it up for Charles! <laughs> Winning a Royal Caribbean International Baseball Cap and the Silver Medallion. Give it up for Mike, ladies and gentlemen! You were right. robbed! Very good, Mike. Very good. All right. Taking first place, having the pride and the honor of being the world's sexiest man. Ladies and gents, your world's sexiest man winner is... Timo! Got a medal. Good for you. Yeah, how'd you get the hardest cut shame? Why didn't you say make cruising free? I, I don't know. All right, guys, we're here with our friends Brian and Julie. What do you think? I, what do you think should I, happen? I, in that I think I think like a drop. I, I want I want to call Toronto. I want to call the judges. I want to I want to I want to recount. I want to recount. We I'm, want to recount. I wanna we demand I a recount. You guys can see the scores from your seats, right? I don't know. They're, 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 we saw the scores from our seats. Mike was clearly the winner. Oh, well. Well, that's it, Beaches. The inaugural World's Sexiest Man competition on the inaugural sailing of Icon of the Seas is in the books. It's been a great day out in the middle of the ocean. Temperature in the 80s with plenty of sun. Stay tuned. Tomorrow is a Beach Please Bar Crawl with special guest judge of the Sexy Man Contest, Brittany from Utah. We'll see you then, Beaches. Oh, <laughs> yeah.